friends welcome back naji here so we are continuing our discussion with lan chain and in this video we will be discussing on simple llm application how can we create a simple llm application using lan chain okay just set our agenda this will be our agenda we will be giving a prompt to our chat model and the chat model will be uh, creating some response the response will be passed and that will be sent back to our user okay so here we have already discussed about prompt template and we can discuss about chat models and the parts response and the chat models we we know what is a chat model it can be we can consider llm as a chat model and it will accept a set of instructions and it will return a message as a string message as a output okay and uh, langchain actually provide a lot of uh, llm models like anthropic open ai or the llm from aws or llm from uh, what we called uh, azure so everything will be supported by the uh, chat models i mean everything is supported by the langchain so these all these chat models you can see this uh, diagram okay and all these chat models is implemented from base chat model and this base chat model is implemented from our runnable okay so its base class is actually runnable and uh, if runnable is implemented we know that like some basic features will be available like streaming uh, what we call invoke all those things right okay so that is about chat models and uh, output passes uh, so output passes are something like uh, for example we have the llm models have generated some result so it it should be it usually in a string format so we need to convert that into the specific format that we need right for that we will be using output passes for example we can convert that into pindatic object or we can convert that into dict enum datem etc okay so we will be in this simple uh, example we will be using string output passes okay so that's about the introduction now we can do we can go to our coding part so here i have installed a python.env python-env uh, package is already installed this will help us to load the environment file okay so why we need to load the environment file is because we have to create a open ai key so in this tutorial we will be using open ai as our chat model so for that we need to create a open ai key to create open ai key what you guys can do you guys can go to open ai uh, open ai.com then you guys can go to the sign up and you can do the sign up process okay so once the sign up process is done so you will get a a screen something like a playground screen will be available so you can go to the settings and here we can see api key so in my case i have created three api key and uh, you guys can click on this create new secret key just click on this and give some project or the what we called uh, something or some name then just hit the create secret key button you will be getting a key okay so that is a secret key don't share it with anybody so once you have the key okay once you have the key go to sorry go to dot a create a file called dot env file and within the dot env file okay have set open a dot api key and paste your api key in this double quotes okay this should be in the dot env file not ip ipy env file okay so once that is done which means you already you have created a open ai key successfully and that is available in the dot env file now we need to load that into our program so for that we will be using the python dot env file okay so here i have imported that now i can have the load env this will load our env file okay now we can import our chat model so for that we can use from langchain langchain underscore Open AA import somehow the complete is not working some issues there no module lan chain underscore open AA okay uh, let me see there from maybe I have to run some let me check my requirement.txt file 
okay maybe i have to run that so let me search for this error you can search maybe i have to install this okay we need to install this particular package so let me do that also i forgot to do that let me copy this and in the requirement.txt file i need to add this also now let me run this rip install requirement.txt okay now it is successfully installed now let me execute this okay so we have our chat chat open is there now i can create a model so to create a model i can have a chat open ai here i can specify the model i can use op, uh, open a uh, gpt maybe uh, um, we can uh, actually we can use uh, let me let me search the models i just forgot that open aa okay here see open aa llm models let me search for that okay from here i can i am going to use gpt for o mini okay so this is the model that we are going to use gpt for o mini so let me copy this somehow i just forgot that okay so here we i can mention gpt gpt o for mini okay so this is the model that we are go, going to use okay so the model is ready now what we can no, no this this is not not right so let me check this something is wrong gpt for o mini so this is how we need to use that okay so the model is ready now we need to create a prompt template to create a prompt template we already discussed sorry this is not needed we we already discussed about prompt template the prompt template can be imported from core dot prompt and we will be importing chat prompt chat prompt template okay now i can have a prompt template and chat prompt template okay here i can use from messages okay here what we are going to use, say is that we are going to create a system message and we are going to create a user message so the purpose of this simple application is we will be giving some text in english and our llm model will convert that into specific language okay say in italy or italian okay so for that i can give a system message and the system message will be uh, you need to translate a text from english to this can be passed as a parameter language okay now let me have a comma there now i can set a user message okay so the user message will be uh, a text okay so this text will be we will be getting from the user so we have our uh, the prompt is ready okay now we can try to execute the prompt so i can have a prompt value okay now here i can invoke the prompt okay so i am going to give two values here one is language language i am saying italian now i'm going to say text text will be hi so this is my prompt value now this prompt value can be sent to our model okay i can do a model dot invoke and i'm going to give a prompt value here okay so because this is we are doing a chaining process here first we have the prompt value and prompt value will be passed to the model so the model is executing now we can see our result okay so this is the result 
okay so we have passed the high and we are getting uh, something like this in italian okay now from this response we need to get actually the result result only right this is what we need to get right currently we are getting lot of aa messages okay for that we can use our output parser okay. so for that i can have a lang chain from lang chain core we have a output parser and i will be importing the string output parsers okay now i can create a parser object str output parser object okay now this result can be passed to our string object okay so the final result will be no need the final result i can just directly give i can give my parser and i can call a invoke method i will be passing my result here see we are getting so when when we pass that into the result from llm model to the output parser we are getting the text message okay now let me quickly go back to the our slide here we can see we are creating a prompt the prompt is chained with the chat model and the result will be passed to the output parser then we will be getting the result okay so we have seen how the how this works we have the prompt and we have the model and we have output parsers okay now we can see how can we use our expression language lang chain expression language to chain everything together okay for that i can create a chain okay i can have my prompt template okay now i can pass my model and this model will be passed to the parser then i can now i need to I, so here i am used the prompt template okay not prompt value you can see i have used the prompt template so we need to pass two values to here right so i can come and i can say that invoke okay and we can see the power of the expression language here i am going to say language i can pass as italian okay now text i can pass it as a hi see we are getting the result maybe i can change this into uh french we are getting the french value and maybe hindi i'm not sure hindi is available that's indian language yeah hindi is also available okay so this is working fine okay so i think we have achieved our goal we have created a simple llm applications in this video we have studied how can we call the invoke method and after that we have explained how easily we can use the expression language to chain each components okay so that is all about in this video i will be uploading this notebook to the github you guys can modify it or you guys can use it and ensure that you create open ai key and please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye